add that extra layer back on this morning. You know, it's nice to dry out behind the recent storms we've had, but it got colder. In fact, we've got a temperature that's right at freezing in Salt Lake at 32, but it's a little bit below that along much of the Wasatch Front. Mid-teens in Park City as well as Evanston. It's in the upper 20s in Delta, mid-20s currently in Cedar City. All these temperatures running lower than 24 hours ago, in some cases uh, by as much as 15 to 20 degrees. So you'll notice a difference when you head out the door. Otherwise, it's looking good. We're drying out. We've got fair skies over northern western Utah, some clouds uh, lingering in the east, few showers along the Arizona border and Lake Powell area. Uh, otherwise, we're drying out, but we still have a lot of runoff to deal with from the heavy rain as well as some melting snow. But the flood advisories and warnings that are in effect for parts of Washington County expire at 8 a.m. However, there's a flood watch that will be in effect for much of southwest and south central Utah until uh, late afternoon into the early evening hours. So if you live in an area prone to that, uh, definitely need to keep an eye on things. Otherwise, our most recent storm moving off to the southeast, high pressure building in behind it, uh, drying us out. The, the problem is, of course, behind the departing storm, uh, as we mentioned, it did get colder and today temperature is only going to be climbing up into the mid 40s in Salt Lake. So that puts us back down about 10 degrees below average for this time of year. Be in the mid 30s in Logan, 32 in Park City. You'll make it up near 40 in a lot of the western valleys and in St. George up to 57. Otherwise looking good and it'll stay that way through St. Patrick's Day as well as the weekend with the temperature climbing into the low 60s in St. George by then. We'll get more wet weather moving in by early next week. And in northern Utah, it's going to be sunny, mid-40s again tomorrow. It'll be hovering near 50 this weekend, and then we'll get some valley rain, mountain snow developing as early as Monday. But this time around, it looks like uh, the wet weather holds off until the end of the weekend.